First up, an inventor from the West who's got no interest in swimming with sharks. My name's Dave Smith. I'm 46. I'm from Perth, WA. I'm a surfer, I'm a business owner, a dad, and everything I do is for my family. I've got two beautiful kids. Jake is eight, and Charlie's 14. Uh, I've had them down at the beach since before they could walk. I want my kids to be passionate about surfing, and I want them to be safe. The 63-year-old split from her swimming group, and that's when the shark attacked. The beach was closed immediately after the terrifying encounter. Locals have told us there's been a big, great white menacing surfers and divers here. It's the second shark attack off the West Australian coast in less than two weeks. With all the shark attacks in WA over the past few years, I thought somebody needed to actually do something. My product's about uh, giving people safety and it's been a personal crusade to me to give confidence back to surfers. I'm passionate about my product and I think it's what the community really wants. I'm very confident these guys are going to take up this proposal. My name's Dave Smith. I'm from Western Australia. My company's called SurfSafe, and my offer is 5% for $120,000. My product is designed after a spate of fatal shark attacks across Australia and the Indian Ocean. And what I came up with was a product that's built into a surfboard to deter shark attacks. There is an electrode on the front of the surfboard and an, a rear electrode in the back of the board. This puts out an electromagnetic field, three metres around the board, a six metre diameter. We've tested this and it deters shark attacks. We tested it with bull sharks, tiger sharks, and finally we got to test it with white sharks. So what we did was put the surfboard in the water. We put we a number of baits on the underside of the board. We had the sharks come in. We let them take the bait. So the sharks were confident in the surfboard and taking the bait. With the device activated, the sharks wouldn't take the bait. Come on, look, mate. Why don't they go near it? The electromagnetic field affects the receptors in the nose of the shark. So it's like pretty much getting a punch in the nose from any of the sharks that come within three metres of the board. Dave, is it out there in the market already or is this a new prototype? We put this product out nearly 12 months ago. Currently, we're selling it in Australia and New Zealand. And what do you say? What was the last? Uh, the sales in the last three months have been $47,000. And what, what about the month one, month two, month three? Uh, they've increased. They've been increasing like by around 25 to 30% each month. And how are you selling it? Present, they just buy it online. It's still a manufacturing level, and we will be working on getting that into a retail product. What's the, what's, what's the size of your market? How many surfers are there in the world, mate? Uh, I'm, just, I'm dealing with the WA market at present. It's, it's around 30,000 regular surfers in the water. Worldwide, there's just under one million surfers. So what does it cost you to manufacture these? We've just been working with an Australian company, so they've been around the $150 mark. Uh, we wholesale it for $300. So at your 150 bucks, and so you make, you have 100% markup into the wholesale space of $300? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. And then what do they retail? You have a website and they retail for They something? retail for $389. Plus fitting. $389 plus fitting, yeah, so they come in at, at around $469. What's a surfboard cost? Yeah, average surfboards cost around $600 Australian dollars. Okay, so this is going to add the cost of that's a surfboard. That's right, yeah. You're a bit of a surfer, aren't you? I'm a very poor surfer. But I do love it. And you don't like getting bitten? No, funnily enough, I like to be on top of the food chain. I do yeah. like to be number one. Yeah. Um, my whole family is a surfing family, and we've got quivers, which is a new word I just discovered. It's a group of surfboards. Like arrows? Yes, it's like a flock of birds, but it's a quiver of surfboards. So the average person might have two or three boards if they're semi-serious. No, they would, but it's expensive. My quiver is 10 boards, it's $4,000. We do have customers that come in and they, they are passionate about saving their lives and their families' lives. They are putting three in there, absolutely no hesitation. I've got customers that put six in there. We are working on a removable product and that will be in the future development. And this removable product, how much work, how much time, how much money is involved in that? 
that part of this 120,000 we need is for development in, the, in that removable product. This is, this is the one that the global surfers and the global community are after. Does the new one go on the board or on my wetsuit? Because I scuba dive as well. We are looking at uh, different ways to attach this to other products. The thing with me is that if you were standing here today and you had version two, which was, you know, when I scuba dive, I can wear it. Um, when my boys are going out with their wetsuit, it sort of sits in their, in their cap. I would be jumping on it like nobody's business. Please let me know when you have version two, but at the moment, I'm out. You got a valuation of 2.4 million on your business, haven't that's you? That's right, yeah. It's quite a big valuation for a business, obviously, that's starting out. Yeah. Um, how did you arrive at that number? Uh, look, we just sort of went on the potential market. We, we know the way the business has taken off. We only put it on the market three months ago, and it's taking off. So what are, the, what are the forecasts, projections? What do you think is the size of the market that you can realistically achieve? We, we know that we can move 1,000 units in the next year. And with a, with a global strategy, especially into the US market, uh, we know that we can sell 50,000 units there in, within one year. Dave, I think uh, I'm in a position where I can make my mind up about this. When I look at your valuation and your estimate, you're going to sell a thousand. You're going to make a hundred thousand dollars gross profit if you're lucky in the first year. I just can't correlate the one hundred thousand dollars of sales to a valuation of of two point four million. So, from an investment point of view, I'm out. Dave, I love your ingenuity. You are quintessential Australia, and I love it. But it is highly risky. I'm out. Dave, I, um, if I could give you some feedback. Your valuation is very optimistic again, very high. Um, your percentage is low. I was toying up whether to make an offer and increase the percentage, but you only want to sell a small portion of the business and you've got a fairly lofty valuation. And I don't see that my connections are really going to be that valuable to this business. So, I'm out. Thank you. Steve, where are you at? Um, uh, you know, you are actually a nice bloke. I'm not here for sympathy. No, mate, this isn't sympathy, man. I'm, I'm on the edge here. My biggest problem is I don't surf, so I don't fundamentally get it. And I'm sitting next to a surfer who's not going to invest. Your, your valuation is ludicrous. 2.4 million, mate, is such a large valuation for where you're at. If you're going to get 120 grand out of me, mate, it's going to be for something like 45%. So Dave, how do you react to 120,000 for 40%? 45%. 45%. Yeah. Hang that's... on, is that the offer? Is that an offer? Yeah, it was an offer. It's an offer. Yeah, it is great. I'm glad to get an offer. So where are you at? Perth entrepreneur Dave Smith's shark deterrent has already chased off four sharks. But then Steve Baxter put a toe in the water. If you're going to get 120 grand out of me, mate, it's going to be for something like 45%. Is that an offer? Yeah, it was an offer. It's an offer. So, yeah, it is great. I'm glad to get an offer. So where are you at? Well, I mean, I'm grateful for your offer. Uh, but just at present, I, I couldn't accept that. I appreciate it, but um, it's just, at present, that's just too much for me to offer uh, up. So, do you have a counter offer? Just uh, to prod and poke you into a negotiation here, can we? So, no, no, that, that um, so you're not even going to counter with some percentage, mate. You're just going to say, no, nah, I think, you know, let's just not talk at all. Is that where you're at? Yeah. So, 5% is it, 5% or nothing, I'm going home. Absolutely. Well, mate, I just can't do that, right? 
So I'd, I'd, I'd love to, and I believe I can add value. Yeah. But I am out. OK. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for presenting. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, All the best. Dave. Pleasure. Good luck. Thank See you. Later. Bye. I've spent two and a half years on it, and finally it's taking off, and there's no way that I can give it up at 45%. I was surprised at how stubborn he was on the valuation, because I think the value... We all agreed yeah, the valuation was insane. Next into the tank is Damien, who's pegging his future on an ingenious camping invention. We've got four boys at home, so we get out and about a lot, and that's how this idea came about. My product is different, and it's something that, that solves common problem. Hi, Sharks. My name's Damien Joyce, and I'm the owner and creator of Hexpegs. I'm seeking an $80,000 investment for a 20% equity in my business. So what are Hexpegs? Hexpegs are a multi-purpose caravan and camping peg that are drilled into and out of the ground using any type of drill or impact driver. So the idea came to me on a family holiday after growing increasingly tired of hammering in normal style pegs, bending them, hitting your thumbs, cursing, etc. <laughs> I knew there had to be a better way. So after 12 months of hard work, hex pegs were launched in January of 2017. Sales have exceeded all of our expectations to date. What I'm searching for now is a business partner and mentor to help me to drive hex pegs deeper into the Australian market, the US market, and the rest of the world. So, who wants to see how they work? Yep, yeah, yeah. Yes. Love awesome. it. Okay. Can I sit up close? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So we've got two styles of peg. We've got our hook tops, which obviously have the hook on the top, and our flat tops, as the name suggests, is a flat top. Yeah, that's a flat top. I'll grab my drill. Did you want to come out and give it a go, did you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm keen on this one. I'll show you how it's done. I'm keen on this okay. one, so. So, all you do is grab the drill, put a slight amount of pressure on it. I want to make sure even a Sheila can do it, that's all. <laughs> if Naomi can do it, everyone could do it. That's exactly right. I think she's armed. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry. Don't hold, you got to... Put a little bit of, let go of the peg now. Put a little bit of pressure on the drill. Yep, that's it, done. Now take it out. There That's you go. What I want to see. Yep, there you go. You'd actually think I knew what I was talking about. I was and then just grab the peg and let the drill go. Yeah, turn the drill off now, and it'll come out. Very good. Perfect. So, I was always on the end of a drill for my dad. Yeah, there always you go. Always on a piece of a wood. The three good things about them, as far as pegs go, they go in a lot easier because of the thread. They grab a lot better when they're in, and they also they come out a lot easier. So, Damien, Hex Pegs. I know another company mm. from South Australia yeah. called Hex Pegs. Yes, that's correct. Very similar name. Very similar name. Different product. Different product. Similar name. Unfortunately, you won't be able to hang your clothes off of these. You're here in the tank seeking $80,000 for 20%. Correct. Valuing your business at $400,000. Correct. Tell us about your background. I'm a married father and stepfather of four boys. I'm a firefighter in the MFS in Adelaide. Look, I love what I do because I get to help people. I get to work as a part of a great team and serve the community. Similar with this, I get to manufacture something and create something and provide something to people that I can help people with. And are you selling direct to consumers, no distribution partners? No. Look, I'm looking for one, and that's half the reason why I'm here. Um, no, I know one or two. Yeah. <laughs> so where do your customers come from? Caravan park or a camping ground's a captive market, because normally someone's always sitting there watching someone back a caravan <laughs> in and sort of seeing what they've <laughs> got new. Yeah, back that's watching right. the neighbours put up their tent. Yep. <laughs> Quite often I get customers that ring me up and say, look, I saw your pegs being used at such and such a caravan park, and I want to buy some. Since you've opened the can of worms, tell us about the numbers then. We do four packs all the way up to 30 packs. Probably the most common sale would be a 10 pack or a 15 pack. And that's sold online direct to a consumer? Correct. What do you sell them for? Like a four pack's $55 retail. A 10 pack is $125. It goes so on and so forth up to 30, which is $315. And what's your margin on that? The gross profit margin would be around about 75%. I've sold just over 13,000 units so far. OK. And generated $138,000 in sales. Ooh, OK. Damien, you've got great traction already. In yeah. only a year to sell 13,000 units, 
what's the forecast for the future? Our first quarter sales this year compared to last year, we've almost doubled that already. So going on those figures, I'd be looking at, we will be doing $250,000 worth of sales this year. Mm -hmm. um, with That's a view, calendar year? Yes, correct. With a view to go to $750,000 next year. Yep. I think what you're looking for uh, is a partner more than an investor. And all I would be for you is an investor because I'm not a camper and yep. so don't understand the space. Yeah, cool. But bloody well done. Thank you. But I'm out. No worries, thank you. I'm gonna make you an offer, Damien. Oh! So you're making about seven bucks a peg. Is that uh, right? Correct, yeah. Wouldn't take long to get your money back, would it? I'm gonna offer you 80,000 bucks, right, over 20% of the company, right? I'm going to want $160,000 back at a buck a peg. Oh, oh now he's got a feeding. Get 160 k back and then we'll drop down to 5%. OK. So I'm your banker. Damien, he's not your banker because the banks don't charge 100% interest. You'd be better off getting bank debt given that deal. For a second there, we thought he was actually going to be wonderful, but, you know, that's not going to happen. Look, I really love what you're doing and I love the camping. I think it's fantastic. Not that I've done it since I was a child, but never mind about that. <laughs> Wouldn't be good in those shoes. No, that's right, darling. Oh, Five stars, all in a row. That's what we like. <laughs> Damien, I would be wanting to woo Glenn in this deal because I do know he has that distribution network. Really glad to see more innovation coming out of South Australia, but for this deal, I'm out. Thank you very much. Because you know my uh, relationship with Austrail. I didn't, but I do now. <laughs> so I'm an investor and a director of the biggest seller of these sort of things in the Australian market. I can mm. see an application. Absolutely. I'm just concerned whether we'll do something similar or do we do something with you? I've got the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need to deal, don't we? Good on you, mate. <laughs> yeah. I like it. So I'm going to throw it out there, 80k for 40%. 40%? 40? You think I'm touching him up? He hasn't asked for his money back. <laughs> yeah. Damien, I know that one introduction will put you in just about every camping store and major hardware store across Australia. Damien, while you're considering these two characters at the end, I'll, I'll tell you where I'm at. I mean, A, you've got some good offers. Well done on the design. I think it's a lovely design and you've been very thoughtful about the way you've done it and gone about your business. Thank you. The market's a bit narrow for me. I wish you luck. Go for those other offers, but I'm out. Thank you. So, Damien, you've got two offers on the table. You've got yes. one offer from Glenn at $80,000 for 40%. Mm -hmm. You've got your second offer from Steve at $80,000 for 20%, which he wants a return of $1 per peg until he gets $160,000, in which time his equity will be reduced to 5%. Yes. What are you going to do? Fireman Damien has come up with an easy way to insert and remove tent pegs. He's got two offers for his business, Hex Pegs. One from Glenn, the other from Steve. What are you going to do? Right. First things first, I have my wife out the back. Ah. And I did say to her that if I did get offered a deal that I would actually bounce it off her first. Sounds like you've got the same sort of marriage I've got, which yeah. is I make all the important decisions, but my wife decides what's important. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah, no, very true. Very no, true. You better go and chat. chat okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I love that line. I'm going to be using that one. That's a crap deal, Glenn. You are touching him up. Absolutely touching him up. You're Mate. not doing so bad yourself, K buddy. K Stephen. Stick this up your left nostril. <laughs> the story is we've got two deals. OK. So one is from Steve, and it's 80000 for 20%, but he wants a dollar a peg until he gets 160000 back, and then he's going to reduce his equity to 5%. Huh, OK. And what's the other deal? The second one is from Glenn, who okay. wants 80000 for 40%, However, he does have contacts in the Austral business. OK. Right, what do you think? I really like Steve. <laughs> I 
Greetings, welcome to the tank. Hello. And Hi, you are? You? This is Simon. My name's Simon. Simon. Hi, Simon. Welcome. You do? welcome. Hi. What do you think of this guy? He's done, doing a good job, isn't he? He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> Aren't you proud of him? I am really proud of him. He's worked really hard. Really, really hard. Yeah. So, Damien, you've got two offers. What are you going to do? Okay. So, I have a question, Glenn. Yes, Damien. I uh, came at 20%. You've offered 40. Do you want to meet us halfway at 30? Mate, I just know the value that I bring. If we're going to be a 60-40 partner, yep. you'll get a lot more of my attention because it's, it's not a big investment in terms of my portfolio. Yeah. Damn close to a partner took 40%, right? He's really touching That's up That's why there. I'm a partner, mate. It's all about risk and reward. Just remember the journey gets so much easier. So much easier with a vet on board, mate. Go get the vet on board. He'll help you sell 10 pigs. What are you going to do? I, th I think I've made my decision. Steve, I appreciate your offer. Oh, I thought you were going to point at me and say, no, I'll take I, it. I really do appreciate your offer, and I don't mean to be rude by knocking it back, but I think probably the best fit for us is Glenn. So we'll go to the 60 40 then. Done. Well, there you go. That's what I would do. <laughs> Well done. Fine. Thank you. Good That's a great. Thank you very much. Thank nice you. Very Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to miss that 35% oh, yeah. reckoning, mate. I'll tell you what. Well done. Really Thank, really Thank you, guys. Good. Thanks very much. Thanks, Damien. Thanks, Thanks a lot. <laughs> that is such a good fit for you. It is. My name's Adam Dubrick. And I'm Lee Warren. We've come to the Shark Tank today asking for a $280,000 investment, and for that, we're prepared to give a 20% equity stake in our business. I'd like to introduce you all to... the Cricket Cooler. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Very clever. Summer for me meant down the beach playing beach cricket with family and friends. We'd use anything as a substitute for wickets. We used bins, body boards, deck chairs, whatever we could find on the day, really. It was a few years later and I was down the beach with Adam and we were playing beach cricket that day and I said to him afterwards, why don't we put a set of stumps on a cooler? And the idea of the cricket cooler was born. The cricket cooler itself has a set of stumps at the front which rotate forwards and backwards. So they act as the stumps when you're playing beach or park cricket, and then they act as the handle when you're wheeling to and from your destination. It has cup holders in the back for the wicket keeper and the batsman. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's genius. <laughs> Does it keep beer cold? It absolutely keeps beer cold. Did you bring any proof of that? <laughs> He's thirsty. We didn't bring any proof. <laughs> Steve. But you can take one of these home and you can put your own beer in it later. <laughs> So we've spent a few years now working on development. We've secured patents and trademark protections in most cricketing nations around the world. And we're at the stage now where we've got a product where we can stand beside at a high quality and a most cost-effective way. <clears throat> so could you tell me the offer again? So it was 20% for... A $280,000 investment. 280. Yeah. Mm. So how have your sales been? OK, so we, we launched in September on an online campaign. So we got our factory to produce 1,000 coolers. We learned in a couple of weeks that wasn't going to be enough, so we put the factory back into production for 5,000 coolers. We've now sold 4,000 coolers. At what price? We're uh, selling for 89.95. What do they cost you to make, mate? Our landed cost is around $40 plus GST. Okay, $40 plus GST. You own 100% between you? No, we have a, a site partner as well. Oh. How much is that? So we split 33% each. Of the silent partner, 33%. Right. So you're offering 20% of the whole company. Correct. So therefore, all three of you will be diluted back. Yes. Correct. What else have you done? Where have you come from? What's your backgrounds before you started this? Yeah, look, both sales. We um, originally met each other working for Cabri Swebs. I still continue to do some sales consulting work. Um, and Lee yeah. is in sales as well. 
when are you going to work into this business full time? Is there a tipping point? At the moment, this is, it is fairly light touch in a lot of ways, right? So we put a lot of time and work into this. We work 70, 80 hours a week when we take our day jobs and we take this. Day job's about 150,000, so we can live on that. Our families come first. However, this comes second. You want us to put in 280,000 bucks for 20% of the company, and you're not going to work on it full time unless you can go from your current wage right now into a wage in this business on an equivalent level. Yeah, if you want to be a diet entrepreneur, that's actually something that says you're, you're not an entrepreneur. You, 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 you want safety and you want no risk. No, I, 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 in all due respect, I disagree. We have taken a significant amount of risk to get it to this point. If we're going to invest in a business that you've asked us to value at $1.4 million, you've got to buy into this, guys. Yeah. Right? And honestly, ripping out 150000 bucks a piece in the early stage, that just to me says, I want to transfer from a comfortable job to a comfortable job. It might be shocked to understand what at least me and I know some of the others on this panel actually lived on while they're building their businesses. And in equivalent terms, it's a damn sight less than 150000 bucks. It's really not about we can't be bothered. In a heartbeat, we would love to. It's about our current circumstance and it's managing that. Yeah, I, yeah. I know, but going... Because I, I must yeah. admit, I'm in his camp, yeah. right? Um, yeah. We had a point in um, my business in the early yeah. days where we needed more capital. We, and the only thing, like most Australians, is, was our family home. Yeah. We sold our family home. We moved into our office. I was sharing a bedroom with my kids. I never took a salary for three years and my first year salary was $30,000. And the only reason I did that is because every cent needed to go into the business to grow it. It also needed every second of the waking hours that we had. So focus and execution it deliver results. The reality of you not working in the business and what it requires you to get in that business is a warning sign for me that I've been burnt with similar things in the past before and I promise not to do it again. Would it change your decision if one of us committed to that? Adam and Lee are feeling the pressure. They're pitching a product called the Cricket Cooler, but one shark has already bowled them a wrong one. The reality of you not working in the business and what it requires you to get in that business is a warning sign for me. Would it change your decision if one of us committed to that? I said I'd never again invest in someone with that attitude. Sorry, guys, I'm out. Look, for us, this is not about having a product that we don't think we can make money out of. This is about getting access to some working capital so that we can produce enough coolers to fulfil our demand. I think for me, it's, there's something that I'm not going, ah, oh, I've got to have it. And, I, and also that, that real um, someone in it full time and then how that works with cash flow. And for that reason, I'm out. You mentioned patents. We've got patents approved in Australia, New Zealand. And then we've got trademarks for the UK, South Africa, New Zealand, Australia. Have you got the patents for India? We do, we've got a patent pending in India. So we filed it in 2008 in India, um, still waiting. We're hoping that it comes through. We understand hope's not a strategy, but yeah. you know, it's a, it's a challenging market in its own right. So we are waiting for, for an approval. What worries me is I'm nervous about silent partners I don't know. And India, of course, is the biggest cricket market in the world and there's uncertainty there. So for all those reasons, I wish you luck, but I'm out. I'm concerned this could be a one-hit wonder. I'm looking to invest in businesses that have recurring revenue and long-term future success. There's not enough certainty, so for those reasons, I'm out. Then there was one. <laughs> then there was one. I'm looking for people with passion. And you tick that box. I'm looking for people who are persistent and there's no doubt you've done that with your R&D. <laughs> yeah. You have a product that will make people laugh. 
and that's what we need more than anything. I'm also in an interesting position that I know somebody who runs the largest promotional company in Australia. And they are always looking for the next thing to take to their clients. So I am going to make you an offer of some sort. I will give you, or I'll offer you, there's never a gift. <laughs> this is always an investment. $80,000 for 20% with a 200,000 loan for a licensing deal. So you get your $280,000 cash which you need, but the licensing deal is dependent on a volume sale. So it effectively will appear to you like a loan. So the 200 is, they, they use that for stock for the licensing deal? They need the money to get the stock yep, and they okay. need the money to get additional manufacturing. Yes. Yep. So they need the money right now. So it's still but cash you're going to get. But I know if I introduce them to just one person, I can make that money back, be a 20% investor and we're all sweet. Which, which is and a, it might be a very short term thing. Which is a, which is a good deal for you. Like, it's a fantastic deal. Yes. I think we can. We don't want to devalue our business. We genuinely feel as if we've, we've valued it accurately. We, we honestly do. You're not going to take it. We genuinely feel like we've valued it accurately. Now, I think we'd be comfortable with that deal, but at a 10% equity in the business on go. So my offer is 20% for $80,000 with a $200,000 loan. You're most welcome to take a moment. Can we take a moment? Yeah, of course no, I appreciate you can. that. I think yeah. <sighs> it's, it's essentially an interest free loan over two years. We're going to make a killing in the next two years, but 20% is a lot. I have no doubt you'll get your money back on this product. The question is what happens next. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're... it might be a one-hit wonder. Yeah. I might introduce them to one or two people that get some big sales. Yeah. You know, it's a fun product. I've played cricket on the beach. Yeah. I've used all the stuff. Gentlemen, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. We've had a deliberation outside, as you are aware. And, Naomi, we really need the capital now. We're going to make a bucket load of money for you and for us, and we've got yourself a deal. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done, all right. Well done, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. 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 Well done, well Naomi. Done. Awesome deal. Mate, it was intense. <laughs> we kept battling. We um, probably not necessarily the, the shark that we thought was going to show the interest that they did, but well, the rest stoked. First into the tank tonight, an inventor who wants to put a lid on skin cancer. My name's Bernie. I'm from South Australia. And anybody that spends long periods of time in the sun, whether it's for work or play, could use my invention. Started and we're still operating from home. Uh, we've mortgaged the house, we've not been paid for 12 months on top of that, so I guess we're taking a, a big risk, but I, I am passionate. I'd like my product to go global because I truly believe that we can disrupt global skin cancer statistics. G'day Sharks, how you going? Good. My name's Bernie Sherrod and I'm the founder of Cap Hat. Today, 
I'm asking for $120,000 for a 25% investment in our company. Capat was born on the far west coast of South Australia during a stinking hot summer's day. I had a hat, but um, I was still getting sunburned. So uh, I uh, grabbed a bit of blue paper towel, some duct tape and a knife, and um, first cap hat was born. <laughs> not the, <laughs> Very beautiful. Elegant. Not the most uh, beautiful looking thing, but it worked. Fast forward to 2014, and the time was right to introduce cap out to the broader market. It's a one size fits all attachment that simply goes over your favourite cap or hat to give you complete protection from the sun. So you simply throw it on like that, tighten the toggle at the back, and yeah, as you can see, your ears and the back of your neck are completely covered. Mm. My wife has had a skin cancer removed from her nose. And uh, according to the Cancer Council in Australia, two out of three of us will have skin cancer by the time that we're 70. So skin cancer prevention is, is an important thing for us in our family. We've recently been awarded the best new clothing accessory at the Australian Fishing Trade Association Awards held on the Gold Coast as voted by retailers. And we've also been provided a seal of approval from the Melanoma International Foundation. Oh, well, well done. We've now sold over 1,800 cap hats, both in Australia and overseas. And last of all, I'm introducing this here today. Uh, I've called it cap hat hoodie. So this is cool for kids can be used for sportswear, workwear, anywhere. And it simply goes over your cap and um, that's the cap hat hoodie. <laughs> I, our vision is to, is to disrupt skin cancer statistics, not just in Australia, but globally. And I think it'd be fantastic to work together to, to try and achieve that. Thank you. Great. Well, well done, Bernie. I've got a couple of samples for you guys here, oh, actually. I'll bring them over, yeah. Got a red one for you, Naomi. Oh, Bernie! I thought that. Um, Aren't you sweet? There you go. Glenn. Good on you, Bernie. Thank no you. Worries. Did you make this specially for me? Yes, we did. <laughs> All right, Janine. There you go, Steve. Has anyone seen my camel? <laughs> so I've got to say, for me, this style of uh, protection is quite important. I've actually have a hat that's got the built-in. Um, we used to call them Arafats. Yeah. You know, yep. The built-in sort of gear there, and I, uh, I don't go fishing without. I prefer not to put chemicals on my skin. So I have to cover up instead. So uh, mm. great innovation and awesome, mate. Well done, Bernie. You've sold 1,800. So you've yep. got a nice working model of what you're retailing at, what your costs are to produce, and, and what your margins are. So can you walk, walk us through the financial logic of why we should look at this seriously? OK. I'm passionate about manufacturing in Australia. So my Australian price is about $7.40. If I sell into, into uh, retail outlets for 10, or if I sell them myself directly online for 20. The other part of it, I suppose, is I have had a batch made overseas, whereby I can land them in Australia for five. It's still too much, Bernie. Yeah, you need Honestly. to get it under a three. Yeah. Honestly, Bernie, you've got to make a decision between how many lives you want to save from skin cancer and manufacturing in Australia. This is a great idea. You could have this in every Christmas stocking in the United States, but it's got to retail for under $9.99. You need to think that through. Yeah. So Bernie, if I'm going to invest, I want to know the person, what's your background, what's your story, what, what are you doing, are you working, is this supporting you full time, what's happening? It is my full time occupation, I've, I've been doing cap hat now for, for almost 12 months. We've, uh, we've mortgaged our house, I've got a, a wife and three children, so it you know, puts a lot of pressure on, on family when you're just a, a dad. Uh, you know, How much have you put into the business? $100,000 of, of our own funds and we haven't drawn an income for my wife or myself for over 12 months. Wow. Bernie, you're, um, you're a great, you've got that entrepreneurial spirit. All that effort you're putting into sales, you have to put that equal effort into getting this price down yeah. to be under three. Because at the moment you can't go into the US market no. at the current cost, it's too expensive. Yeah. And for that reason, I'm out. OK. Thank you, Janine. Bernie, you know, you're exactly the guy I want to invest in. 
Um, what I am struggling with um, is that there's a big world out there that you've got to try and dominate or attack. And, and to me, the best place would be finding some sort of deal with a licensing agreement, yep. rather than having to reinvent the reel around distribution channels, around manufacturing, to get that price down to where it's going to be in the marketplace at a price point that the consumers will really engage with it and it'll run out the door. Uh, for that reason, uh, I'm out. Okay, thank you, Glenn. I like you, Bernie. You're doing everything you can to take this forward, but this is this is one thing. This is a, a, a product that's not quite yet a business, right? How do, how do we? How do we? How do we, how do we get you? I mean, I, I, I think the scenario here for me to make you an offer is going to be around cash flow. Yeah. I can offer you the hundred twenty thousand dollars with respect to loans in yeah. order to back you into your first big purchase orders. Okay. That's going to be at a commercial interest rate. Uh, I'd, I'd say let's say ten percent. Okay. So um, more than happy to help you fund that cash flow gap. Is up that ten percent interest, or are you wanting ten percent of his business? No interest. This is this. Is, I'm offering him debt. I'm okay. offering him straight debt. Based on you getting a solid purchase order from a you know reputable retail, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll fund that gap for you, mate. Okay. So one twenty thousand, no equity, but it's ten percent loan, and basically um, subject to terms to be agreed. But then when you pay the loan back, you still own all of your company. That's what Steve's okay. You know, um, what I would like to see is that you have to use the $120,000 from Steve. Yeah. So what I'm going to do for you is introduce you to two big retailers. OK. Because if we can get a really big order, yeah. you'll have to get take his money. Can, can I just state as well that I, I don't mind my deal isn't exclusive. So if someone wants to come in and do an equity to underwrite that, I've got no issue with that either. I'm happy just to be the banker on that equation. Nice that how Steve always me. interrupts me, isn't it? You so, know, that's why we get along so well. <laughs> So I'll go back to doing the talking part now. So Bernie, the best thing I can do for you right now is in introduce you to big retailers so that you can significantly grow your business because as soon as you get that income, you will be able to support your family, then you keep growing. So I'm out, but I know I'll be hearing from you. Thank you. Steve's put his hand up for uh, a joint venture. I'm happy okay. to go halves with you, Steve. I'm happy. I'll take the whole lot and or a little bit of it. I'm not fussed either uh, but, way. But I'd like to convert my half to equity. Okay. So within tw within 12 months, I can convert it to 15%. So we're basically saying 120 for 30%. Yeah. I convert my half to, to 15%, but subject to you getting the price point down just on this product okay. for the US, which is a manufacturing price yeah. under three bucks. No, I understand. So, so the sharks are circling. You've just taken more equity off the poor guy. Yeah, I have. Uh, just a little bit more, but I think I bring a lot to the market. I mean, if we can get this online in the US market, we're off and running. So you've got two sharks there, Bernie, willing to help and support. Yeah. Oh, that's Most incredible. Important. I can't, can't believe it. What's your answer? Entrepreneur Bernie Sharrod has offers from both Steve and Andrew for his sun protection device, Cap Hat. That's incredible. I can't, can't believe it. So, do you want me to summarise yeah, it for be you? Great, you know. So, okay. you will get your $120,000. It will need to be paid back at an interest rate of 10%. Yes. When that's paid back, Andrew will get 15% of your business, their yes. new shares, so you'll be diluted. And Steve, at this point, is is getting nothing. He'll just take his cash, but I'll yeah, give, and, you, I'll give the you the cash back, and you'll give you're me fifteen percent of your company. You're only repaying sixty, though, not not one twenty. Probably that's an important yeah. point. But it's subject to him getting the price point right for for the US, which is a manufacturing price yeah. under three bucks. No, I understand. And Naomi's going to help out with some. Retail. I've got two good retailers that I can at least introduce. You know, they have a whole purchasing process and yeah. all of that. Sort yeah. of What's your answer? Uh, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed. Um, I never expected what was going to happen. My, my wife's here. Could I, could I have a 
Absolutely. Please Quick. do, Mike. Go Please and have do. a chat. Yeah. Have a chat with her. Go and speak to the boss. Happy wife, happy life. There Correct, you go. Bernie. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I always consult the chairman of the board. I've got a uh, supply chain. Within two weeks, I'll get prices from about six different countries yeah. on this. I've got an offer. <laughs> Having just spent summer in the hottest Californian summer, you know, for 17 years drought, I mean, everyone around the world is fed up with the sun and trying to get away from it. So I think in sporting and outdoor activities, which aren't very glamorous sometimes, this, this sort of product's got a place. I thought I'd better, better bring the boss in. Hey. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the tech. This is my, Hello. Lovely right, to meet Melissa. you. Hey, it's, always, it's always good to meet the surprised woman behind yes, every well, successful yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> has it been a journey, Melissa? It certainly has been. Um, obviously, he's a very passionate man about his yeah. ideas, always thinking about ways to improve things, and I just wanted him to have a go and not wonder, you know, is it a good idea or not? So here we are. Has he told you about the deal, Melissa? He has. What do you reckon? I, I really appreciate, you know, what, what you're doing for us. Obviously, the funds are very important, but to have you there to, to mentor and that as well is, I think, fantastic. So, um, they love to accept the offer and. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really, I, I really think we can Thank change, can change the system. Yeah, yeah, we can save a few lives. Well done, oh, mate. But, thanks. And, and I'm sure I can help you get that price out. Oh, Lovely to meet you. you. Yeah, you well too. Good thank you. job, mate. Thanks, Melissa. Yes. Thanks. Hello, well done. Thank you. Thanks. You do realise I'm just a banker now, don't you? <laughs> so, no, well, banker. Support, banker. Supported by an equity partner. Supported by an equity partner. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, cheers. Cheers, Sean. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye. Good luck. Thank you. I just, I can't believe it. I'm humbled. I, I, I seriously am. I, I, I'm stoked. Isn't that, it's incredible. incredible. I am extremely proud of Bernie. He works on this night and day, and I'm just so proud that he's put himself out there to um, realise a dream. A Queensland couple have bet their future on their product. We've basically spent our retirement, so we need to make this work. Please don't take this too personally, but you've stuffed it up. Just give it a break for a sec. Have you flooded it? Yeah. We just stand here on the boat ramp and admire the view. The shark's next meal is Peter <laughs> and Margaret Powell from Cairns in Queensland. Yay! <laughs> We've been married for... <laughs> 33 and a half years. Not that I'm counting. <laughs> Far North Queensland has the best of everything. We have the reef, we have the rainforest, and there's lots of creeks and rivers. Look at that, beautiful, isn't it? What inspired the product is my passion for the reef. And I just wanted to do something that is a solution to a long-term environmental problem. It's really helpful to boaties, and it limits the footprint that you leave behind it will hopefully be adopted by everybody who owns a boat. We've invested what we have to retire on, really. We put it all into this device. I wonder where the crocodiles are hiding today. He's really brilliant in what he's invented, and sometimes in life you don't get enough credit for what you're good at. And so I had said to him at the time, even if it cost us our house, we would persevere with this. But after working side by side for years, Peter is insisting that Margaret face the sharks alone. The invention is my side, and I feel Margaret's the better person for the shark tank than I am, but I'll, I'll be there for her if she needs me and, and supportive of her. Hi Sharks, my name's Margaret Powell, and I'm really excited to show you our innovative device, the Catch and Release Anchor Retrieval System. We're seeking an investment of $200,000 for 20% equity in our business. 
The Catch and Release is an anchor retrieval system that allows you to pull your anchor up the way that it went in without causing damage to the reef, even if your anchor's stuck. Yeah, nice. When you pull up your anchor, you're pulling it through whatever it's attached to. So this can cause catastrophic damage. If you have a think about the 850,000 recreational vessels that are registered in Australia, or when they go on a fishing trip, they're pulling up that anchor three or four times every time they go out. It's not just the environment that's at stake here, though. Stuck anchors have been known to capsize boats and to cause damage to those boats or even drownings. In fact, it was an incident on our own boat that started all of this many years ago. So Peter, my husband, decided to set to work and find a better solution. As he would put it, after many years and many, many beers, <laughs> we've come up with a simple, easy to use and environmentally friendly device. It will retrofit to most anchors and is able to be used on recreational vessels up to about 40 feet. Let me show you how it works. So here I am in my boat. I'm ready to pull up the anchor and guess what? It's stuck. So I have a sleeve that stays up in the boat until you're ready to retrieve. The device, as you can see, is on the anchor at all times. So you let the sleeve down. I'll just do it gently. It compresses the pins, releases the coupling, enables you to pull the anchor up the way that it went in. Oh, do that again. Impressive. That was like a magic trick. You have the sleeve up, you let it down, it compresses the pin and pulls it upside down and pulls the anchor up. Well, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, no, great job. Fabulous. Thank you. Okay, Margaret, so you're looking for $200,000 for 20% yeah. of your company, valuing it at a cool $1 million. Yes, that's the actual collar that yeah. slides down. You can see that it has a taper. So every type of anchor you can retrofit it to? Uh, most types of anchor. We haven't found that one that you can't because all that you need is the attachment point at the top of the anchor for the extra piece of chain. Yeah. This is a fantastic bit of kit. Can you go through the economics? What's, what's the cost to manufacture, do you think? About $100 manufacture. 100 bucks, OK. $100 to manufacture, and yeah. the wholesale price you're thinking is? Uh, $230. That's $230. average of across the board. Recommend retail is $295. We have actually sold 150. You already yes. tested in the marketplace? Yes. So in terms of getting the price down, yes. you've obviously... Gone offshore. What are we going to get it down to? 40 or $50 to make. That would be fantastic if you can do that. Do you have patent protection on this? Yes, we do. Right. How long ago was that applied for? A long time ago. We have three years left on our patents. Oh, Margaret, three years left. I know. You're killing me, Margaret. What happened in the last 15 years that you only got three years left on your patent? Because we couldn't get a manufacturer to manufacture them properly. Margaret, why did it take you three years to come to Shark Tank? Well, I had no sales initially. It doesn't stop most people walking through that door. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really, if someone's going to invest in this, they've got to make hay for the next three years. After that point, someone can legally copy it. Yes. Margaret, where's Peter? He's the inventor, right? He's hiding out the back. <laughs> he's hiding? What do you mean he's hiding? Is he scared of us? He believes he's the inventor and he's done his bit, so I have to do the rest. <laughs> Should I go get him? Yeah, yeah bring absolutely. him out. Absolutely. He cannot hide from us. It's safe in here. She's obviously got the US patent, but, you know, three years to run, hello. Hard work. What do you think, Glenn? I like it. My biggest issue, quite simply, is the recommended retail price. I think it's got to be under 100 bucks, and then you're going to roll them off. What's happening? You need to come into the Sharks and, and meet them, so if we want to get a deal. Oh, OK. Let's do it. What if it became a marine standard? If you want to take a fishing boat out, you've got to have this on there. That'll boost sales. Yeah.
Peter, we've heard a lot about you and we've seen some of your work. Welcome to the tank. Thank you very much. What inspired you to spend so much time on this? I love the reef. I grew up on the reef and I wanted to do my little bit time in the world to help this. That's exactly where I got to in my headspace. This is an environmental thing more than anything. So every time you drop an anchor, yeah. you drop it with one of these because you're going to do less impact to the environment. On my word, yeah. Mate, why'd you sit on it for 17 years? I'm sitting here wanting to do this deal and I've got a three-year shop clock working against me. Um, I was trying to um, prototype it and I, I sort of, when I wanted something done, I was put on a low priority everywhere I went. So I had to basically build my own shed, get my own machines and do it myself. So you actually acquired all the machine tools to build the prototype yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I thought this was a hobby. This has been a complete obsession. Yeah. Has Margaret been any support? Oh, couldn't do it without her. Um, simple as that. Um, hmm. She's the big driver now, really, you know, like... It means everything to us because we've basically spent our retirement, so we need to make this work. When you start down the business journey, you've got to be cleverer. Yep. Because the downside of it is bankruptcy, exhaustion of your retirement funds, not leaving legacy for your kids. That's the downside when you stuff it up, right? That's right. Please don't take this too personally, but you've stuffed it up. Margaret, Peter, I'll tell you where I'm at. Look, I love your enthusiasm and your passion for the reef. You know, we should all admire that. And, and your tenacity. 15 years banging away at this and then in the end having to make it yourself with your own bare hands. Fantastic. Sadly, you tried to make the product yourself yes. and create a business out of the product. What you could have done is find someone who could make it, distribute it, sell it and give you a piece of the action, a license. Oh, and I'm still prepared for somebody to offer us a royalty and to do that, certainly. I wished we'd got to you earlier, but for those reasons, I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I so want to do this deal, but every financial part of my brain says, don't, don't, don't. I can't find a reason to do this deal because of the, the three-year shot clock. I'm out. I'm so sorry. I'm out. If, if I can think of a way to help you, I, I will reach out to you. I, I, I want to do something. It won't be an investment today. Yep. Thanks for this. It, it will help save the reef. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great invention. I can't get past the fact that you've spent an absolute fortune on patents and haven't done anything with them for 15 to 17 years. I'm out. OK, thanks, Jenny. So, Margaret and Peter. Yes, no. Hats off to you. It's really fabulous. I happen to be spending six weeks around the corner from you this summer. So given that I'm going to be in your region for six weeks, I'm really happy to mentor you. That would be fabulous. So let me spend some time with you and let's see what we can come up with. That would be wonderful. But for this deal, right now, I'm out. So four sharks are out, just one shark left. And so I keep reminding myself, <sighs> I'm an investor, not a charity. Yeah. And the investor side of my brain, which is the nasty side, <laughs> then works out how to position so that if this goes well, I get the upside, but I also minimise the risk on the downside. This has got the environmental thing, you know. That... So I'm just struggling, deeply struggling. I'm going to throw an offer at you. I want 100% of the company for 200,000 with a 5% royalty all the way through. Forever and ever. Can we just, can we just restart the offer because it, this has never been offered in the tank. I'm buying the company 
The 200,000 goes to them, it doesn't go into the company. Is that what it is, Glenn? Yeah. You get all your money back and maybe some upside if he gets it off the ground 5%. Normally, I'd tell you to run away from that deal and that it's a load of crap. But you want to save the reef, you've only got three years to go, and you've done your retirement money on it. So I actually have to say it's not a bad offer. I've got to look at the exact reason why this has been going on, and I've stuck at it, and Margaret's stuck at it too. It's, it's about our dream and um, my passion for the reef. I think, well, I know you have got more of a chance to fulfill this dream that I'll have in the amount of time we've got left. So for that reason, I'm happy with you, mate. Good. Hey, well done. You just won the lottery. That is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I oh, know that was a very, very hard decision, but yeah. I, I oh, think yeah. it's Sorry, good. Pete, for a vet is a nice bloke. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done, you guys. Well, you did good out there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Margaret. Congratulations, guys. Really congratulations. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you sold your company. I know. Who would have thought that? I get, were you expecting that at all? No, as not at all. Tank today? Not at all. I always knew that having only three years left was going to be an issue, and um, yeah, but that's awesome. Can you imagine what it's like for them? Amazing, life changing. Today they came into the tank, and their life forever is changed because you will make a difference to the planet. I'm happy. Yeah, it's for the passion of the reef and the environment out there, and um, that's. That's my dream. They loved you and your product. And yep, um, that's great. All the best for the future, hey? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Thank you. This way, no risk, their dreams fulfilled, they sit back, take a royalty. I, I can see where this will be a lot of fun and it's important. Okay.